Hello and welcome to my Friday. I've been trying to start the vlog for ages, but I've been on a very crowded train with lots and lots of children because it's half term. Anyway, I'm on my way to Panath to meet an old friend and a friend of Izzy's as well. So we're waiting at Central Station at the moment. It's a beautiful sunny day, as you can see. It's one of those days I have got no idea how much or how little I'm gonna be able to film. So yeah, we'll see. Let's see. The plan is we're gonna meet at their house and then go on to a cafe and then maybe go onto the pier and have ice cream, stuff like that. And the kids are gonna hang out probably separately. They'll probably branch off from us after dinner sometime. Here comes the train. We've got on a very different looking train. I think it's a new one. Because he's just looking for the loo. Let me just show you the carriage a minute. Yeah, I'm just vlogging a minute. Yeah, so look, it looks really different. Never been on one like this before. <laughs> I'm on drink holding duty. Somebody needs the loo. <laughs> hey, this is fancy, isn't it? Cool. Okay, we're gonna sit uh, right here, why not? There's the loo by there, look. I'm wondering if this is an electrified one. It's very quiet sounding, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't see any wires though. going very slowly anyway. That blue hulk you see there is Ikea. Look, oh there's that listed gas tower thing, former gas tower. <laughs> That's a point of interest that is. I was just asking the ticket officer about this train. He said it can run off electric but we don't have the wires in place yet so it's not currently running off something else. Um, these ones do have toilets, but the new trains that they're going to introduce will not. But the idea is you're never going to be that far from a station with a toilet and they're going to come a lot more frequently, like every 10 minutes or something. So hopefully it'll be all right. I just feel sorry for the families. They've got lots of young kids that when they need to go, they need to go. You know what it's like with young children. They either desperately need to go or they don't need to go and there's nothing in between. So can you imagine getting five kids on and off a train every few stops because one of them needs to be anyway those are my thoughts on it we're coming past cardiff marina now look or maybe you can't see down there whoa well, that's a nice lot of solar panels on those roofs isn't it Well, we've arrived. I'm gonna put the camera down for a bit now and pick it up later when it's appropriate to do so. We're gonna go on Google Maps and find this house now. Lunch is here. We are taking a stroll to the beach where we will be getting ice cream on the pier. Decision time, which flavor to have. We have ice cream and we're going on to the pier. Lovely. <laughs> it's quite a lot later now. The girls have gone off on their own. They're exploring somewhere and I've been having a walk along the esplanade here with my friend. Her son's just put in an appearance, so she's buying him an ice cream because he missed out earlier. And just like that, we're on our way back on the train. We're just coming towards Cardiff Central Station now, where we need to change.
we've popped out we're just going to go to tesco's here and get some food and drink to have on the way back beautiful sunny evening we've decided to go for a three pound meal deal but there's not a lot left is there the shelves are pretty bare Isabel has chosen a pasta pot we've got some drinks there okay due to rather limited options I'm not having a meal deal I'm just gonna have a bottle of drink and that prawn roll thing ah ha ha self-service that will do we have food and drink we're heading back to the station having a quick nosh on the platform now so our train's not due for 10 minutes yeah prawn and avocado this is new apparently there was just literally nothing left that took my fancy out of the meal deal stuff hello it is now a whole new day it is saturday it's about 20 to 4 in the afternoon i've been up since about quarter past nine and i've basically been editing and getting vlogged up all day catching up with myself because i got a bit behind but now i'm going to do something a little bit exciting i'm getting a bit fed up with the old um, lack of holiday situation to be perfectly honest with you i've been in a right lull gig wise and normally i go on holiday when i have no gigs but with the old omicron situation hasn't been the best time to go now that situation is starting to calm down a bit my gigs are due to come back in but we've also got term time complications now because we can only go in school holidays now because somebody's in college anyway i mean have a look in the diary and it's occurred to me that what if we can have a six day holiday what if we could go from sunday and come back friday so i can still fit my saturday gigs in because in the next school holiday i've got gigs every weekend you see so anyway i've worked out which dates we can go coordinated with my other half and i'm off to the travel agent now to just see if there's anything we can do for six days over the easter holidays within our budget <laughs> so that's the next on my agenda for today i've just been in the travel agents and now i'm in iceland i just need some vegetarian sausages for tonight's dinner oh that's getting jammed um i think i'm going to get the richmond how much are those two pound for eight that's all i need really oh we've got blockage look. <laughs> I was just at the till in Iceland and I saw cream eggs and I thought, no, 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 must not get cream eggs. And I've come out and I've just come straight back into B&M now because I want cream eggs for afters. Oh dear. Aha, I found the Easter section. I just want a little box of three. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they've got individual ones, 39p. Could just get three of those. Right, I'd better go to the till and not look at, at anything else. I'm back, I'm gonna get cooking. I'm very excited about potentially actually going on a very short holiday. It's gonna be five or six nights, depending on which one we go for. So I'm squeezing it in between the gigs that I have on the Saturdays. So we'll have a look with my boyfriend later and see if he fancies any of them. I think one of them he really will because he's got a friend out there that he could hook up with and I think that will make him happy, so maybe we'll go for that one but let's see it's nearly 10 to 6 now i've got actual potatoes chopped up into chip shapes in the active fry i've got mostly richmond meat-free sausages and one lowly corn sausage in the pan frying over here we have green beans and broccoli and i'm actually going to fry up some of my bean sprouts as well because i still have loads of the flipping things um yeah i'll do these they're still all right i know because i had a load for lunch as well oh no i've just chucked them in my boyfriend's here at the door hello gorgeous yeah just filming the bag whilst giving you a kiss well there's mine anyway i think i've butchered the egg it's gone completely hard more or less no mind we've devoured that oh isabel's just had the last mouthful of sausage look what's put after Corn. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you can talk away, I don't mind. They were, well, we had Richmond, but there was one one lowly corn one in there, lurking. Huh? I had the corn one. What? There was one corn sausage and all the rest were Richmond. Oh my god, I thought you meant that I just ate meat sausages. So I think you would have noticed, love. I, I, I was about to pan it. Mm. <laughs> No, I'm having one a month and I've already had my February cheat day, so I had a mushroom burger instead. The reason I'm looking up is because otherwise the lighting's like that. <laughs> it's 
so now you know and i can't be uh, i'm too tired to move from the table ib's making tea so we have a cup of tea and a cream egg and then me and him are going out for a dark walk in the streets because it is now dark but isabel doesn't want to come and i think we're gonna have an outing tomorrow aren't we it's a swansea i think unless we change our mind in the meantime. IB and I have been having a brief look at the holiday printouts and he says he's happy to go with any of them. So, mm -hmm. What's that just when it wears out, mate? The dinner's going down nicely now. IB and I have been sitting, going through all the paperwork from the travel agent and we've honed in on one specifically. And uh, it, for some reason, the printout doesn't have flight times on it. So he's just looking them up now on his phone. But shortly, when we've figured that out, we're going to go out for a walk in the dark. But it is dark, so I'm not going to film it. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. And if you did enjoy it, could you please give it a like to help the channel to grow? And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!